Hey guys, it's Hayley and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing things that everyone needs to know. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the things that I learned when I was in my two year journey of focusing on myself and trying to better myself and kind of find out who I really am. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys that is really important and it's probably why it's the first one is because you need to stop talking down on yourself okay i did this a lot i think everyone does it and people do it sometimes without even realizing they're doing it so yeah stop talking down on yourself and instead replace that with being kind to yourself and kind of finding the courage to face your own fears now facing your fears and having courage are way easier said than done so yeah that is a thing that takes time as in i've been i've been on my journey for two years and i am still going through it like it's not over yet i have not finished my journey i'm still at the beginning so with these things it's gonna take time and you have to be patient a way to do this is that you might be in bed and you might be like thinking about something you did like last week or two weeks ago and you're like no i shouldn't have done that i'm this i'm this i'm this i'm that bad things then you stop you stop thinking that and you tell yourself no okay i might have been those things that's the past and i'm not gonna keep beating myself up about it i will not let myself speak to myself in this way because you need to know that you're a valuable person you want to speak to yourself better or the same way you speak to others you're not going to be rude or well, i hope not <laughs> i know it's hard because sometimes it's so like built in and that can be due to like your childhood upbringing loads of contributing factors once you start changing how you speak to yourself from like a negative way to a positive way like things are going to change you're going to start believing in yourself more and it's going to be a positive cycle and we, we like positive cycles the second thing i want to tell you guys is that as humans it's human nature to care so don't beat yourself up about caring about something um too much because if you're not caring about anything then you might be a psychopath <laughs> no like i feel like everyone cares about something because that's just human nature so sometimes it's okay to care even if you don't want to care about something just accept it and move on the third thing i want to tell you guys is be comfortable with yourself like even if other people are not okay with it for example you're gonna be accepted or you, people are gonna like you or you're gonna like please people like okay that's all fun and nice in a moment but like imagine you're literally like in this little box when you're you have the potential to be in a way bigger box and you're just limiting yourself don't limit yourself be a pariah i think it's a pariah be different okay outcasts are cool outcasts are cool it's 2023 guys 2023 it's time to be different and it's time to get out of that box the fourth thing i want to tell you guys is probably one of like the most important is to have a balance of things that you do then too much of something is bad but then like not enough of something is bad as well you know you want to be in the middle you want to like not overdo something but you don't want to not do it at all you feel me do you get what i'm saying right okay the fifth thing i want to tell you guys is that even though you cannot control certain situations you can control your reaction to the situation okay even if you feel powerless in the situation sometimes you need to like gain that power back and by this if this is with a man or with like your family or anything just remember the hardest thing is like taking someone off of a pedestal that you've put them on and put yourself on it instead think about yourself the sixth thing i want to tell you guys is actually a quote and 
when I really heard this quote and I really digested it I was like wow and it was you are the healer that you've been waiting for and I didn't make this up someone else made this up and I can't remember who so sorry but someone made this up and when I heard this I was like wow like I didn't realize but in my head I was thinking that someone was gonna come heal me and I was gonna be okay like I didn't realize that I had to heal myself even though when I say the word heal it's not like I've been wounded or someone's done harm to me because that's not the case I'm not saying that I'm saying like as in I didn't realize that I had some problems within myself that I needed fixing because it was so just buried deep inside of me in regarding of (sighs) there's a lot of things that I had to work on for example self-validation as in I didn't feel like I was enough and I was looking for things to to give me validation and it's such a toxic trait to have but with that toxic trait is that you don't know you have it until you really look into yourself and you're like you want to admit that you have it because it's so embarrassing like it's embarrassing to think that you have to be validated by other people and by a guy and by things like that like no one thinks no one wants to admit that because no one wants to feel bad about themselves but when I heard that quote you are the healing that you've been waiting for I was like wow like I have the power to make some changes and even like hopefully stop these toxic traits that I have inside of me well they're not demons but inside of me but like yeah like so I was like cool so I targeted all of my toxic traits and that's when I started to work on them and that's how I've been able to grow so much until now is recognizing what toxic traits I had and doing something about it so they would change was a whole game changer so yeah if you are too scared to admit it and you're watching this video honey you're not alone okay you're not alone i've been through it i'm going through it and there's hope there's hope there's hope there's hope you can change you can change okay seventh thing i learned was that being perfect and like striving for perfection is just not gonna happen (laughs) like perfection is an illusion as much as things may look perfect on the surface i promise you it's not nothing is perfect in life and when i realized that my life changed because i felt like i always needed to be perfect and i had like this it was it's like a disease it's like you think oh i need to look this good so that people will like me i need to do this i need to wear this outfit i need to go to this place i need to take these pictures i need to put this on instagram and it's just a whole thing like perfection is not real okay and people who look perfect are not perfect they're just trying to look perfect okay so if you don't look perfect and you're comparing yourself to people who look perfect they are lying they're lying to you don't take in this lie that perfection is real because it's not real everyone is imperfect in their own way and that's okay and that's good we love that if everyone was perfect and everyone was just like had no flaws then that would be boring that would be so boring i actually learned this from mark manson's podcast um perfection is imperfection so if you want to hear more about that then go listen to that podcast it really changed my view on things like in a good way another thing that i learned another thing that i learned 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 okay another thing that i learned was act learnt learnt is it learnt or learned okay another thing that i learned was from my book that i was reading i finished it now but it's the soul art of not giving a fuck by mark manson (laughs) Um, if you know me you know that I like reading his stuff in this book I have done loads of notes loads of highlights but the main thing that this book has taught me is to not let adversity come in between me and my goals 
and adversity another word for adversity is a hardship so yeah don't let hardships come in between you and your goals so that quote really helped me and like changed my perspective on everything the eighth thing i want to tell you guys is one of like the things that i am struggling with the most today and that is to stop wanting what you don't need and be grateful for what you have um and this all originates from having a consumer mindset so we live in a world where you open your phone and it's like advert 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 buy this get this like we don't have a time to breathe we don't have a time to think or even be thankful for what we have because our mind is like straight on to the next thing that we can have so yeah i struggle with this so much because i am a person who like I just want more and more and more and more and I don't know when is enough is enough so I've recognized that flaw in myself and I'm trying to change it but if you have this flaw then no you're not alone <laughs> again in this life we're conditioned to have a consumer mindset we're conditioned to want more and feel like nothing is enough because then we just buy more and it's just a whole system thing you've got to know the habit to break the habit you feel me if you want to know more about breaking habits then i'll put my video here so you can go watch it because i give you some really good advice and i'm not even too in my own horn but like i'm too in my own horn <laughs> so the ninth thing i want to tell you guys is just remember that if people are trying to put you down one you're doing something right <laughs> they're just jealous no okay maybe a bit extreme or unless you're doing something that's actually wrong then obviously you're gonna suffer the consequences get hit, all of that stuff if you're just being yourself and people are trying to put you down then remember this okay remember this listen to what i'm gonna tell you okay it's important they are just projecting their own insecurities onto you because honestly the amount of people that i've come across and they've been just like rude to me for no reason or just hating like talking about me behind my back you know classic <laughs> it's because they are just not happy with themselves and when people who are not happy with themselves see someone who is trying to do something for themselves or someone who is happy they don't like that unhappy people don't like seeing happy people so unhappy people try to put happy people down so if you're happy or trying to be happy and someone is trying to put you down then just remember it's a them problem it's not a you problem never give them the satisfaction of letting them get to you by you taking what they say to heart or getting upset or none of that no 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 none of that okay none of that because people can't make you feel inferior without your consent you let them make you feel that way so don't let them make you feel that way the tenth thing that i'm gonna tell you guys is to be aware of the music that you listen to the tv shows that you watch and basically the information that you're taking in on your day-to-day -day life because sometimes without you realizing it goes into your subconscious be selective with the information that is around you and that you want to intake because you have a choice you can choose to not intake information but you gotta know that you have a choice don't just let any random information come into your brain because it will go into your subconscious and then you will be thinking about it without you knowing that you're thinking about it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, once I found this out, I started trying to put good things into my subconscious by giving myself good information and trying to block out any negative information um, that was around me and that really helped so listening to uplifting music um makes me have a better day than when i don't listen to uplifted music like it's that simple if you want to have a good day put on some uplifting music it's just gonna it's just gonna help unless you want to be sad or you're having a sad moment then feel that sadness if you're angry feel that anger feel your emotions because that's something i struggle with i struggle to feel my emotions and i block them down and that's not healthy so feel your emotions um but yeah 
just be aware of the information that you're gonna intake on a daily basis from now on whether that's today or tomorrow and you've watched this video just really think about what kind of things that you're listening to you're watching and how that could affect your brain and your growth okay now those were the 10 things that i needed you guys to hear but if you want to take it a step further and kind of fast forward your growth journey then i would recommend that you do an audio on your phone you saying how you'd like to see yourself but kind of like in the present moment like don't think about anything else just think really clearly and think how do you want to see yourself what i've realized is that life gets so busy as in you have to just like boom 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 do something after the next all the time that you end up forgetting what you even want to see from yourself which is a big question like take five minutes and really ask yourself that because if you don't ask yourself that then you don't know and then if you don't know you're gonna end up seeing yourself as the way other people see you and sometimes the way other people see you is not the way you want to be seen by yourself so i know it sounds very confusing but yeah do that audio in your phone keep it to yourself and you can listen to it whether you're commuting to work or to uni or wherever whether you're on the train in your car listen to it when you wake up or before you go to bed honestly up to you but that is one of my biggest tips because when you hear your own voice telling yourself how you want to see yourself it's just a great reminder to not lose that focus point of your growth and carry on going so that is all for today's video guys I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something new. These things are things that were really personal to me and my journey. I've lived every one of these experiences, and that's why I'm 100% sure that they're gonna work for you. If you guys want more growth advice, then put it down in the comments below because I personally have a passion for talking about things when they can help others just because i feel like that brings me joy and it's my own therapy so <laughs> until next time bye guys Mwah.